Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. It's time to take a check of your afternoon update brought to you by 45 North. You can find them in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel for some great breakfast as well as apres and dinner available every single day. And you can find this and much more on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com. Well, for the day on Wednesday, we'll see snow developing Tuesday night and continuing into Wednesday should see well over a foot of snow. Summer temperatures 18 to 22 degrees, base temperatures 21 to 25 degrees. We'll see that breeze pick up from the east, southeast and the southeast around 40 to 55 miles an hour up towards the summit. So that will be noticeable as the storm moves through here. But sometimes when we get lots of snow, we get lots of wind as well, but we'll take it. Mostly cloudy skies for the day on Thursday, 22 to 26 for your summer temperatures. Base temperatures 20, uh, 12 to 18, and we'll see a very light breeze across the hills. So that is some great news Thursday, shaping up to be a great day. Friday, looks like we'll see some snow, some possible rain showers. As you can see, temperatures up there above freezing, but looks like uh, the latest models are showing colder air into our area, so let's keep our fingers crossed for that. Becoming partly sunny on the day for Saturday with a high temperature around 31 degrees with a low of 20 degrees up towards the top, and we'll continue with some uh, clear skies and cooler temperatures for the day on Sunday. Birchwood Interiors brings you your trail report. 102 trails of skiing right on 9 lifts, getting you those runs. 63 trails on the groomers list, and if you want to book a private cat tour that is available for you, go over and do some skiing on Burnt Mountain. Wednesday afternoon looks like a great opportunity for that. Snubber, Sawdust, and Skidway. Those three lifts will move you around the base area at 8.30 on Wednesday morning. If you're just learning to ski or ride, that's where you want to head. Double Runner East gets going at 8.30 as well for some uh, runs down Boardwalk as well as Lower Winter's Way and Lower Narrow Gauge. Super Quad Skyline get going to get you to pretty much anywhere you want to go on the mountain at 8.30. And the East Side lifts King Pine and Wolf Tree get going at 8.30 as well. And they plan to groom out Moose Alley tonight, so if you've got kids, check that out off of the Wiffle Tree. King uh, Timberline gets going at 9 a.m., winds and weather permitting. That gets you up to the second highest mountain in Maine, right up there. And they did uh, have White Nitro on the groomers list, as well as Gandhi Line Extension. Lower Winter's Way, Candyside Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook groomed out tonight for uh, the base area trails, as well as all the normal trails around the uh, Central Mountain as far as Tote Road and King's Landing. You'll see over on the east side, Hallback, Ramdown, uh, Boomogger, Misery Whip. That'll get groomed out tonight, so that'll be fun first thing in the morning as well. The old number 5 T-Bar, and that could be a watch and win question, so keep that in your memory. Snowshoeing trails are open and fantastic down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center as well as the ice rink and the cross-country skiing. Things will only get better down there with the fresh snow. They'll probably be clearing off the ice rink for uh the day on wednesday so be aware of that the fat biking trails there'll be some fresh snow on them so probably want to stay off that until they can get out there and uh groom stuff out and flatten stuff out as well and we want to let you know that the snowmobile trails are in great shape so go up there and rent a snowmobile from flagstaff snowmobile rentals on main street in stratton and this weekend we've got watch and win coming up we've got some great prizes to give away we've got pictures of places around here that you will probably recognize, maybe not, but you got to tell us where we are, and we'll give you some great prizes and qualify you for our grand prize. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's where you'll find us on social media, so check that out, as well as on our website, WSKITV.com. We've got this latest local forecast, our live quad cam shots, so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time, and tons of videos of things to do to keep you busy here in the main high peaks region. Each one of those a reason to stay another day. Enjoy the snow, folks.